Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kiss. So today I'm going to be doing a double Louis Vuitton unboxing. So if you like handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll really love it. Um, so sorry if my neighbor's dog is barking in this video. He goes a bit crazy in the morning and I don't know what to do about it. So yeah, I think he enjoys barking he only does it in the morning and that's like the only time I have to film so anyway guys so you know guys I was I'm always on bag band but I cannot resist you know just buying a few things at the end of 2020 I feel like 2021 will be the year of bag band but I had to pick up a few multicolor pieces because I actually sold most of my multicolor pieces this year um, and I only had one piece left which was my Speedy HL and I actually don't have any white multicolor pieces left in my collection so I really wanted to add something back and I was definitely tossing up between a few bags um, but I actually um, deep down knew that I wanted this particular bag which I purchased so I will show you guys that later in the video but first I'm going to show you the first item I got now I won these this particular item on eBay for a bargain price so it is these multicolor sneakers now I don't usually buy I haven't actually bought Louis Vuitton shoes before but when I saw these on eBay um I just placed a bid because the bid was like $50 US and I bid on it and then I won the auction. So I won these for 50 US dollars um, and then the shipping was like $30. So a bit annoying, but still it, they were, they came to like 80 Australian dollars in total, which is pretty good for designer sneakers. Now they were a bit dirty. Um, I'll insert a clip of them. Um, I actually took out the insoles and I used like some a bit of water and vinegar and um, also some lavender just to like disinfectant the inside um, and I also tried to scrub the front of them and I also used a bit of leather conditioner on them just to um, kind of improve some of the little dents on here and th there is a slight there's a crack in the canvas which was noted in the auction but I think it's not too bad. I mean, if I, you wear, I wear them. You're probably not going to notice. Um, and I also took out the laces and I just washed up the laces. And now I think they look a lot better. Um, I got these in a size 38 and they fit perfectly, actually. I noticed that they kind of run smaller to normal Louis Vuitton sneakers because usually at Louis Vuitton sneakers, I'm 37 in the modern day ones. But... I guess back in 2000s, maybe the sizing was a little bit different. So yeah, I thought these were super cute. And I even love the little tongue detail on there. Um, and let, let me just show you guys what they look like on. Today I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing these Doc Martens. But I'll just give you an idea of like what they look like on my foot. Um, they're definitely like, kind of like a bowling style shoe, I'd say. Um pretty comfortable though so they kind of just look like this I don't know if you can see that they are still a bit dirty on the bottom I did scrub them but it looks like the previous owner like kind of stepped on ink or something like I don't know guys but that's what they look like they're pretty cool I don't know if you can see that guys that's what they look like so that's what my new sneak is um and well actually I think they'll look really cute when I wear my multicolor pieces like this. Um, but yes, so the next piece I actually bought from a seller in Melbourne called Luxy Melb. Um, and I went, I actually um, met them in person to pay for the item. And I actually recognize them. So I did trust them. I've seen them kind of, you know they have social media and stuff so I'm not going to reveal who it is but they're definitely like a bag collector I will say so I did trust them and they were selling this item um just because like they kind of didn't use it anymore and they originally purchased it in Melbourne which is really cool like back in the day um they didn't have the original dust bag to it they just gave me this shoe bag but it is 
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> yes, another Speedy HL. So this is by far my favourite piece from the Multicolor Collection, which it is definitely kind of like overrated. It is completely overpriced what they're selling for now. For the market, I got it on like the lower end of pricing, but it was still uh, overpriced, guys. Like when I, I actually owned this bag previously, um, years ago, it was one of the first designer bags I purchased on eBay and I got it for like literally under $400. Now these are going for easily over 1,000, 300, 500, even I've seen them for $3,000, which is crazy. Um, the problem with the Multicolor Blanc is it usually has like, um, there were, these were defective. Um, the glue kind of reacted with the, I think the Vachetta and also the um, interior is red and it kind of reacted with the glue and it meant that a lot of the ones you see will have like pink on this side and even pink around here and also the Vachetta is always kind of bleeding which is kind of annoying but with this one it didn't have much discoloration which I loved definitely the Vachetta has darkened significantly comparing to my this is like pristine this one this one is like completely it's kind of the perfect vachetta this is more of a darker vachetta but still has a nice kind of shine to it so it hasn't dried out and the owner um actually added a little stud to the um zip which you can actually screw out but i think it looks really cool anyway with the stud so i just left it there i thought that was a cute little touch um and with every multicolor piece you buy um you'll notice that there were kind of like different variations of colors, like combinations that you get. So with this one, I ha I got a purple and a mustard LV, which I think is really cool. I never really, I don't see many of these with that combination. Um, I think my old one had like pink and green or something. Um, and the back is green with black. Love the sides. And I love like the, oh, I really like this little lavender color with the purple and the pink. Like this little area is really nice. There is a little bit of chipping you can see on it as well, which is a bit of a bummer, but overall, it's one of the better condition ones I've seen. I did actually polish up the zip a little bit because it was a little bit rusty, which was a bit bad, but it came with a lock and key as well, which I used Brasso to polish, and I, I haven't really added it to the bag because, I don't know, I'm just leaving it plain for now, but... Yes, guys, these will be the final pieces I probably buy from the Multicolor Collection. I just, like, really wanted a Multicolor Blanc piece back, and I know that this is my favourite style, so I just think these are the cutest ones to get. And, I mean, guys, like, I think I got pretty lucky with the price of the shoes, and I just think this would just be such a cute, like, little ensemble together, so... Yeah, guys, that is my Multicolor unboxing, um... What do you think? Like, is it something that you would get? Um, I mean, these, you know, I think if you buy them, you know, locally, if you see someone in your neighborhood selling one of these, um, they will probably be a lot more reasonably priced than if you go on, like, the real real or, um, sometimes Vestier Collective have ones that are okay priced, but the, usually the taxes and the shipping just make it just way not worth it, so... Yeah, that's what I was finding anyway. So I'm happy I have this back in my collection. I will probably hold on to it because it's actually a really useful bag. Um, oh, and guys, I actually made this bag strap for it. Um, this is kind of like half pearls and half vachetta. The vachetta strap is non-LV, but I was just getting creative and I think it looks really cute with the pearls. That, that's how it sits on me. Oops. I'm actually wearing it so you can't see the pearls, but you could wear it. Yeah, so that's how it sits, just like on me. So it's a pretty cute size. Um, I'll show you guys what fits in this little bag because it's a bit hard to kind of tell by the size. It looks like it fits nothing, but it fits an okay amount. In this bag, I have... Oh yeah, so I put the I put the locking keys in just in this little pouch for now, but I did polish them up, up quite a bit. So let's see what fits in this little bag. I've got this is an iPhone 6 case, so that does fit in there, which is nice. I've got two key clays. 
uh, see if those fit yep that fits and that fits as well I have like a little lipstick um, that looks like it fits in there as well um, I've got like a moisturizing cream um, and that fits in there as well so yeah that's pretty much like you could fit probably a few more like thin things in there like maybe another lip gloss also some hair ties but yeah guys it fits more than what you think even though it's like an extremely tiny bag um, it's just a really cute grab-and-go style um, and yeah so guys thanks for watching my video hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I won't buy too many more bags in the near future but I don't trust myself so please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye